Hi, it's Andy again, and I have another tutorial for you. This is going to be on the floating action button library. Um, I'll link, post the link to the library in um, in the description. But uh, I had just done a video on how to import this library, and uh, now we're going to implement it. So it's mostly done through XML. Um, you're going to want to import the the or create a new view with the floating action button give it an ID give it a height and weight or height and width um, we're using the same source as the other button that I created earlier in a video today uh, that's just an image button um, this ripple effect isn't going to be active in uh, pre lollipop devices so we don't really need that um, but the uh, uh, this this is kind of an easier implementation because you can access uh, you can add the regular color and a pressed color automatically by just uh, first importing um, this into your your layouts the XMLNS fab is equal to HTT and basically this allows you to access certain um, tags for the floating action button library. Uh, in XML, XML to make it easier so we don't have to do this through Java. Uh, and actually it's even easier because we don't have to create a new uh, selector. This is all done for you. Um, so what I'm doing is actually I have both views on here so that uh, we can see the two differences. Um, there isn't really anything you have to do in my activity that's um, different from another button. But because I'm only implementing this on uh, the KitKat version of this app, um, I'm, I'm basically filtering to see if the version is less than Lollipop. And if it is, then we're going to initialize the floating action button and then set an on-click listener where it actually says where you clicked fab. So that's the text that we're going to display on the screen when we click it. So when we run this, it actually looks like this. And uh, here's our uh, floating action button. As you can see, there's a nice little shadow underneath it that you don't get with just doing a, a basic image view. So this is a nice, uh, easy way to get uh, what appears to be a floating uh, button. And then when you select it, uh, as you can see, you have just a selector. Um, I don't have a selector for this button, so it actually doesn't show you that it's being clicked. So if you want to easily implement a floating action button, this will be uh, a pretty uh, easy way to do it using this library. And it's pretty, pretty simple to implement. All right. Have a good day.